Welcome to Earn Value Basics 2. Let's talk about Earn Value. You've probably heard in a project people being asked, what is your budget at completion? Or what is your estimate at completion? Earn Value will enable you generate very useful values in your project, such as estimate at completion, budget at completion, estimate to complete, and all sorts of useful metrics. The layman only knows actual cost and planned cost, which is how much money did we budget for this project and how much money have we spent today. That's all well and good, but it doesn't tell you how well you're performing. It doesn't tell you about the progress on the project. So earn value is a way that you can measure the work performed and also measure the progress in the project. And it will enable you forecast the project's cost, the estimate to complete or the estimate at completion, or the budget at completion, and the date of completion. Because if you know the time period, how long it will take you to complete the work, you'll be able to predict the date based on the calendar or the schedule that you're using. Earn value uses three data values. And these data values are the budgeted cost of work performed, which is earn value itself, EV, the budgeted cost of work scheduled, BCWS, or PV, and the actual cost of work performed, ACWP or AC. These long acronyms BCWP, BCWS, and ACWP are the old acronyms that were used in previous editions of the PEMBOK Guide. In the PEMBOK Guide third edition, you have earned value referred to as EV, planned value referred to as PV, and actual cost referred to as AC. These are the basic earn value values, three data values that form the core of the whole earn value calculations that we'll be looking at. Now let's talk about earn value itself. What is earn value, EV? Earn value is the budgeted cost of work performed on a project. This is the cost originally budgeted to complete work that has been completed at the analysis date. This also enables you answer the question, how much work has actually been completed? This is what earn value is. Budgeted cost of work performed. Now let me give you an example. Let's assume we were going to complete one hour's worth of work. We'd probably say it's going to cost me $10 to complete one hour's worth of work. Now, let's say, just for example, there was a storm and I wasn't able to complete the work that I planned to in one hour. Let's say I actually completed that work in two hours. In that case, my earned value will be how much money did I think I would spend on that portion of work. I know I spent two hours, but the work is only worth one hour. So my earned value is gonna be the budgeted cost of work that I've performed. Even though I spent two hours, hey, the work is only worth one hour. That is what earned value zeroes in on and tells you, hey, you spent two hours, but you know what? This work is only worth one hour. So whether you end up spending $20 in completing the work, it is not worth $20, it's worth $10. That is really what earned value is. Now let's move on to the next definition, which is planned value. What is planned value? Planned value is also known as the budgeted cost of work scheduled. That is what the literal definition is. This is the total budgeted cost up to the analysis date. So he asked the question, how much did we plan to spend as of this date? How much work should have been completed by this date? Now, I just gave you an example about the one hour's worth of work and $10 an hour being the rate. And at the end of the day, I spent two hours, which is $20. Well, the planned value is actually $20 because at the end of two hours, I had planned that I would have done 20 
dollars worth of work. So the plan value in that scenario is actually how much work should have been completed by this date, $20, or by this time, $20. Multiplying the total budget by the fraction of the total project duration at the analysis date. Let's give you an example here. If the project budget is $200 and 20% of the project's time has elapsed, the approximate budgeted cost of work scheduled will be 200 times 20%, which will give you $40. So we've talked about earned value and planned value. Now let's talk about actual cost. Actual cost asks the question, how much have we actually spent? What it actually cost you to accomplish all the work completed as at the analysis date. Remember the example. How much is the work worth? One hour? Ten dollars an hour? How much have we actually spent? Twenty dollars. So I've spent twenty dollars and that's my actual cost. How much did I plan to spend at the end of the second hour? I plan to spend twenty dollars. But earned value asks the question. How much work have we actually accomplished? Remember there was a storm so I didn't complete the work in one hour, I completed it in two. I should have been further ahead than I was. So at the end of the day, you've got earned value, planned value, and actual cost. Actual cost can be derived in several ways. Multiplying the number of people by the number of hours or days or weeks worked. In this case, it's multiplying the number of hours times the cost. That's two hours times 10, which will give you $20. Now let's talk about derived metrics. There are some derived metrics from those three basic earn value values. And these metrics can be computed in different ways. Let's first talk about schedule variance. Schedule variance is the variance in schedule, and that can be computed by using the formula EV earn value minus PV. Schedule variance is a measure of how much you have deviated from your schedule. If the schedule variance is negative, you are behind schedule, and if it's positive, you're ahead of schedule. Let's try this example here. Remember we're talking about the earned value in the previous example as being 10. Let's say our earned value is 10, and our planned value, we planned to have done $20 worth of work by that time. Your schedule variance is going to be 